We're here in Stratonov. Stratonov. Stratonov Street. Stratonov Street. Stratonov Tov Street. At the airport. We're gonna film some destroyed homes. Bombed by the Ukrops. It's still a dangerous area. The Ukrops are still bombing it. There are still Ukrops and Georgian snipers. This is the area that I worked in. January and February and March. Troishka is in this neighborhood. The church that was destroyed. Ushi School, the Borodino Pinocchio School is here. Let's go take a look. They're shooting back now. That's the U-Crop shooting at our guys. Pretty bad area. Oh. That's you crop artillery inside the hundred kilometer zone shooting at us. Hey, if you start hearing it close, hit the ground. June 3rd, 2015. New crops are breaking the ceasefire again. what Armageddon looks like. A few times when the ceasefire first started, people started coming back to this area trying to rebuild their homes. Now the Ukrops have broken the ceasefire. They're attacking, shooting again at this neighborhood. So all the people have had to leave their homes again. Look at the destruction here. Every single house is destroyed. Every single house. There are whole neighborhoods all around this part of Donetsk that are like that. What if this was your neighborhood? What if a foreign government took over your government? put a puppet in power and said that the people in one part of the country that didn't want to be under the control of a foreign government and they unleashed the entire power of a national military against the civilians. These people just want to live their lives. They don't want to be under the heel of fascists. So they stand up to defend their homes. And this is the destruction that's unleashed against them. They're just regular people, like you or me. <coughs> every one of these houses, every one of these houses, that has been destroyed. The bombs came straight from the United States. The orders came straight from the United States. The guys who pulled the trigger on these bombs get paid by American tax dollars. The Ukrop government is flat broke. 
they don't have any money. The only money they got to pay their hired killers comes from American tax dollars. The money that you pay for your income taxes. Yeah, U.S. government doesn't have money to fix their own roads, their own schools, but they got money to destroy the roads and schools and homes and churches and families here in Ukraine. This was a nice neighborhood. The people of Donbass, they like to keep a nice house. They like to grow a little organic garden. But you can't do that when you're getting bombed by Nazis. The family used to live here. They've been blown to pieces. See all this brown stuff down here? It's shrapnel from bombs. When those bombs explode, these pieces are red hot. They're going at bullet speed. This is from America. Think of all the money, think of all the work, think of all the time that it's going to take to rebuild this. Think of all the people that have to live somewhere else because their homes are under attack. Even still today. That smoke over there, that's from a U-crop bomb that landed here just a few minutes ago. Good people lived here. These, this is their neighborhood. These were their homes. Look, here's one that hasn't been hit yet. Beautiful flowers. Somebody took care of this yard. Somebody was proud of this home. Look right down here. The U-crop bombs haven't landed far. just random attacks, just random. They just shoot where the people are. They shoot at the people here. Now the Donbass Defense Forces are in this area and that's the reason that the Ukrop fascist army is not, is because we're here, we're defending them. We're defending this land for these people. But the Ukrainians the fascists, they, they would be here if not for the defense forces of Donbass. I am proud to have fought here. These people were home when the bomb hit. Imagine what it must have been like to be sitting at home one day. And all of a sudden have your house blown up. Looks like this place has been hit. There's a, there's a chunk. It looks like a chunk of a grad missile right there. Looks like this place has been hit more than once. Imagine the power of the weapon that did this destruction.
This was somebody's home. Just random acts of terrorism. Random acts of terrorism against the civilians. Against the people here. I came here to fight these Nazis to do this. To end this war. You don't have to join the army. But you need to help. Because this is the responsibility, this is the work of the American government. And the people of a country bear the responsibility for the crimes of their government. So we need to do something about this. I'm doing my part.